Hey everyone, welcome back into Mountain Dog Companion. Hanging out with Sharon and Firestone's litter. We have Angie here, hanging out with the puppies here. They're five weeks old, and today we just wanna go through, talk about each one, give you a better feel on their weight, their personalities, and kind of their temperament. Okay, starting things off here, we're gonna be going through, talking about each one. Just giving you a good feel. I know there's four families on this list, so what we wanna do is just kind of give you a better feel for each puppy and help you out to kind of make your decision uh, based on that. So of course, if there's any more questions about any one of the puppies, I'm more than happy to help you out. Um, but I mean, these guys are doing great. We got a really good feel for each one. We just did individual pictures. Um, and yeah, they're, they're doing very well. I mean, from where they're at right now, what do you think, Angie? I mean, I feel like they're doing very well as they far are. as a developmental standpoint. They're good and strong. And Hitting yeah. the play zones this week, so we're gonna start the toys with activities with sound. So we got these guys right here where you push a button. Yeah. It's actually off. Is it? No, it's on. Uh huh. But they'll start using the slide. Mhm. Mm so yeah, I mean they're they're doing great. I got one pulling on my shirt back here. Uh, they're all doing very well. Definitely a wide variety and range of temperaments and personalities that kind of want to talk about. Um, kind of to go through and kind of give everyone a good understanding um, of where we're at. So um, kind of starting things off here. Again, we got four boys and two girls here um, in this litter. So I, I guess I didn't really go over that, but um, everyone's doing very well. Um, we got Mr. Bo here to start things off. Uh, Mr. Bo, he weighs 5.64 pounds. Um, and he, I'd say he's one of the smaller boys. Um, not by a long shot, just a smaller frame in general, just a little bit smaller overall. And he's very medium, so he's kind of got a nice outgoing, happy uh, personality, but he's also like, he, he'll take it easy. I'll set him over here. He's probably looking for his litter mates, trying to figure out what's going on. Um, but he's very medium, not the most laid back, not the most outgoing, um, pretty confident little guy. I mean, in general, uh, just a super, super sweet little guy. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say, you know, he's necessarily the most outgoing, the highest drive out of the litter. He's just very kind of right in the middle of the pack. So um, super sweet guy. You got Mr. Bo. He's trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> and we'll move on here, I believe. I just want to make sure. I believe I got Murphy here. Yeah, so we got Murphy, uh, the big guy. He's the biggest in the litter. He weighs 6.6. .6 pounds. Uh, big guy. He's the outgoing one in the litter. The most outgoing, I'd say the most active, he super confident, active, yeah. but he's got a very like people oriented. Where do you go? Here he he's is. He's you. got a very people oriented personality. So he'll really like, he's very drawn to people. He's very Velcro. Um, he, he loves up on everyone. Just super, super sweet. Mm -hmm. But right now he's just, he wants all the attention, all the love. Um, so a very sweet guy here. Again, it's Murphy. Um, and he is kind of the life of the party, the life of the show. Keeps everyone in check. Um, and absolutely beautiful markings as well. <laughs> He's going to climb right back into my lap, so I'm, I'm sure. Maybe not. Okay. And then who you have there? Is that Lucky? I believe this is an, This is Bo. Okay. I think this is either Lucky or Gus. Yeah. Woo. It's Lucky. <laughs> yep, and he's the most laid back out of the boys. Um, he is a little bit, we're working with confidence right now. It's very normal right now where he's at. Um, but he, he is a little bit more like, just a little bit more timid. He'll sit and take everything in and make sure everything's cool uh, before he really um, kind of makes himself known and just a little bit more um, relaxed and chilled out. So um, again, that's lucky. He's got a little bit less weight, uh, which I kind of find cool. He's got plenty of tan coming on the face there, mm -hmm. uh, on the sides and on the eyebrows. And then um, you got that beautiful tuxedo, but just a smaller blaze in between his eyes. Um, so phenomenal little guy. And I believe we got uh, the two girls and we have Mr. Do we have? Um, I have one more male. I think, he's I think Gus, if I'm not mistaken. And I think he's hiding. Yeah, that's, that's him right there. There you go. He was tucked down. Yeah, <laughs> he was curled up. There we go. I got him. Okay. 
So Gus here, actually we didn't talk about uh, weight on Lucky. He's 6.2, um, eight pounds. So um, still a big guy. Uh, moving on to uh, Gus. He's one of the most laid back as well, 6.48 pounds. Um, now I would say he's a little bit more active and a little bit more confident comparing to Lucky. Um, very similar coloration and like just with that white, kind of a thinner white blaze, more tan on the face, which is a, a nice unique look. I really like it. Um, we got the white socks in the back. Um, but yeah, again, a little bit more of a laid back, uh, still more confident than Lucky, just a little bit more on that lower drive side, more of a cuddle bug. Uh, super sweet guy. He'll just kind of relax and take it easy. And then we got two girls here, right here. Um, and I believe you have Sophie. And then right here, yeah. Tiny. I'll just check that to make sure, but pretty sure I got Sophie here. Let's see here. Yep, so this is Sophie. She's the outgoing and confident girl out of the litter. She's posing for you there. I got her nose up high. Um, but more outgoing, more confident, super sweet. She's got the high socks up front um, and in the back and then the white tuxedo here. She does have a little bit of a Swiss kiss coming through here on the back. Um, and she's a little bit smaller. So um, she weighs 5.28 pounds. Um, so I think she, that makes her the smallest out of the whole litter. It does. Yep. So she's the smallest girl. I'd say she's the most out, outgoing and confident ones out of the girls. Um, and super sweet, just very, very people oriented. I'll hand her back to Angie here and I'll swap That's you. The last girl. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, yep. And then we got girl number uh, two here, um, Miss Nugget here. She's got the white blaze, white socks front and back and that white tip tail. Phenomenal looking girl. No Swiss kiss for her. Um, and super sweet. Um, now she is more of a laid back cuddle bug, just a little bit more chilled out. She loves being held, just a little bit more relaxed and content uh, when comparing the two girls. But you can definitely see that confidence, like her head up high, she's checking everything out. It's not like she's lacking in confidence, she's just, you know, taking everything in, making sure everything's good. Um, yeah, and kind of getting a good feel for everything around her. So the other um, part I'll add to that at five weeks is when they get exposed to the new play zone. Mm -hmm. So we have a little bit of hesitancy at this point. Oh, absolutely. But generally, as our week progresses, we see um, their confidence just expand. Exactly. So completely yeah. normal, completely uh, expected at five weeks. Yeah. By six weeks, we're usually running full out and mm -hmm. very little difference in the litter. And we'll, we'll definitely see that. I mean, yeah, yeah watch, it's, watch it. we've seen yeah. it time and time again. And it's like, yeah, it, it just so takes cool a little bit of time. So cool to watch. Yeah. Yep. yep. But it's not like, like I said, I mean, like Lucky, um, it's not like he is going to be lacking in confidence. Nope. He's like, right now from where we're at, um, he's just taking a little bit longer to adjust and take everything in. Um, so, I mean, he'll be completely fine. You often have your puppies that are forefront forerunners. They're mm -hmm. out there, game on, and then you have a couple that are a little more reserved that assess first uh -huh. and then move forward. And it just shapes them into really unique puppies and adults. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So again, guys, Sharon and uh, Firestone's litter uh, are doing very well, coming along great here. Um, again, they're five weeks old, doing great. They'll be ready to go home around April 18th. If anyone has any questions about this litter, feel free to reach out to me. The number is 330 Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you guys next time.